Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll go over the 2019 May SAT uh, exam, uh, section 3, uh, question 13. That's a math portion. So in this question, we are given a quadratic uh, equation, y equals to negative x squared plus 4x. So it requires you to pick a graph, okay, out of the uh, four choices here. Now, uh, some basic knowledge about quadratic graphs is that you have to make sure that you pay attention to the a value right here. In this case, the a value here, it's negative one. Now, this is huge because it tells you what way, uh, in what way the graph will open to. Okay, is it opening up or is it opening down? Uh, uh, if you look at choice A, that will be an example of opening up, and this will be the case when A is greater than zero, when A is positive. And opening down would be uh, like choice B, when A is less than zero, A being negative. And since we can identify the A value right away, then we can immediately cross out the options that are opening up. And that's also the reason why I would, uh, that I uh, shrink the choice C on the upper corner because I'm running out of space. So the only two competing choices are uh, B and D. Okay, so in both cases, the uh, A is a negative value, but how do we pick it? Now, uh, this also brings us to the uh, understanding of quadratic. And I require my students to be very sensitive to quadratic uh, equations. In particular, uh, when you look at a quadratic equation like this, you, get a, you have to understand or be sensitive to the possibility of factoring. And if you do notice that you can factor this, you will be thinking about negative x being factored out and x minus four, okay? Now it is very important is very important that you know how to factor and factor correctly, okay? Because you factor out the negative x, so the sign within the parentheses will be a minus sign because as you distribute the minus x into the uh, into the parentheses, that's how you know that uh, it will turn out to be the same uh, expression earlier. It's going to be a, a plus sign, okay? Now how does it help? Uh, if you practice enough, you should be able to tell that there are two roots right here. Uh, the root would be x equals to 0, okay, we can tell from here, and uh, also x equals to 4, which we can short it from here. Uh, if you say, I'm not too sure what to do, well, we can easily uh, make this part and this part uh, equal to 0 separately. And uh, to get to, to get the uh, the four as the root, we simply do x minus four is equal to zero, and that's how we get x is equal to four. Now, what's a root? Okay, a root is the same thing as a. Uh, it tells us about the y-intercept. So maybe I should uh, use an arrow instead. Okay, so a root tells us the x value basically of the x intercept. That means we have two x intercepts right here. We have zero, zero, and we have four comma zero. So your job, it's now very simple. Pick the graph that has these two x intercepts. And if you look at it, only choice D would have this, uh, would match the description that we had from the quadratic equation. So uh, there are always questions like this on the SAT exam, and I would consider this kind of question as one of the easiest questions that you can find on the SAT exam. I do not expect students to miss this type of question. So be very familiar uh, on the content of quadratic equations, especially the graphs, because once you are familiar with the telling of the graphs, uh, then it is extremely easy to pick out the right answer. Okay? After watching this video, did you learn something new? I hope this video helps you. If it does, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and also make sure to check out other videos on this channel. See you soon.